Hey now, hopefully I have enough battery life and don't lose this recipe. I hate this camera, but the 4K is groovy, but it needs to be plugged in all the time. The batteries suck. Sony, work on that. But anywho's, this is another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! Let's do this, people. And today we're doing smoky stuffed burgers with the Quasinart friggin' uh, three-in-one burger press. Yeah. Alright, so uh, to start off, you gotta grab your love bowl, the groovy bowl that does all the recipes, well certain ones. Anyway, and to this we're adding a uh, pound, about a pound of, uh, this is wicked cheap, 73%, you know, you really want a higher grade, uh, a leaner, leaner hamburger for this, but uh, it is what it is. Alright, so uh, anyway, we got our hamburger in the love bowl. Let's add some salt. Let's get some salt in there. Not a whole lot. You know, we got some salt. And now we're going to make it smoky. Smoking. Now, uh, we got some liquid smoke. I buy mine by the gallon because those little, little bottles at the store are ridiculously priced. Uh, check out the, the volume per uh, dollar for a gallon online. I use rights, just to let you know. So let's pour in some uh, liquid smoke. That's enough. You don't want a whole lot. About a couple tablespoons for a pound. I think that was. I just spilled it in there. Let's look. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's perfect. All right. Now you, by hand, let's make this, mix all this salt and this love. Oh, I can smell the smoke. I can smell she's smoky. She's smoky. All right. Mm, that smells great. But this burger feels wicked greasy. <laughs> yeah, they're going to shrink up to nothing. But, uh, yeah, whatever. All right. So we got that all mixed up. All right. I'm going to wash my hands now. Oh my gosh, look at that grease. Because I'm going to have to touch the cheese. In the stuffed burger today, I'm doing bacon and pepperoni and cheese. Almost like a pizza burger. And I'd like to throw a little sauce in there, but I'm not going to. That's for another episode. But yeah, there we go. Now we get some warm water and we're working on removing the grease. And a little soap. All right, so uh, we've got our salt and our smoke, smoking in uh, our love bowl. And uh, we, I've already, uh, I don't know if you can see this, I already got my bacon chopped up and divided into three. Because uh, from what I've learned, a pound makes about three burgers. And so they're about a third pound burgers plus... Uh, Plus what's in them, you know? But anywho's, the bait, the pepperoni I buy for my pizzas and everything is sandwich pepperoni. And I ask them to uh, cut it thick at the deli. And then you cube that up, man. And it's really groovy. You don't have to worry about it falling. You know, you just take a, you, it's the way to go. Uh, and it actually goes on sale some more often than not if you catch it. So you're saving bucks, and actually it's cheaper than the sliced stuff. It's real thin and not that groovy. But anyway, you uh, cut this up one way. Into about quarter inch. I ask them to do it on a five. But they recalibrate all the time, so... I tell them, let me check it out, what it, is a, what it is at a five, and I might want a six, you know? All right, so uh, let's get these little cubes going. How are we doing on battery? All right. All right. Get these cubes. All right, we got it all cubed up. Now, uh, there's my little piles. I'm going to add pepperoni to that pile. 
And add pepperoni to this pile for the three burgers. Mm. Need more pepperoni in this one. Yeah. Need more pepperoni on this. This one's gonna have more pepperoni than bacon for sure. All right, I've got demons here. There you go. There you go, Teddy. There you go, Bob. All right, everybody's fed. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take this uh, Cooper Sharp cheese. I love it. It's better than American and everything. And once again, I have them uh, cut it thick on like a four. You know, none of this thin slice stuff. All right, see that? See how thick that is? Cooper Sharp, and it goes on sale a lot, too. Uh, we're going to split that in half. All right. We got to grab another one. This has already been used or whatever. Close enough. Well, I'm going to try a little bit. Mm, mm. Oh, I've got, I've got friggin' six eyes looking at me right now and three tails. And there you go. There you go. No. There you go. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, we got our burger press. Alright. You want to take a little bit and squish it in the bottom. You don't want to take too, too much. And you want to kind of round it on the edges. Bring the edges up a little bit in it. Flatten out the bottom. See that? Groovy. Alright, now we're going to throw in our cheese. There we go. Now we're going to put in our pepperoni and our bacon. Mm. Alright, oh, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. Alright, now we take some more hamburger. And we sort of flatten it out. You already work it a little bit and flatten it out. I'm going to need more than that. All right. Work it and flatten it out. And then you put it on top here and press it in. There we go. Can you see that, people? Look at that love. Oh, it's hot here. It's so hot. All right. And then you take your press and you press that puppy. Oh, oh. Yeah, fold over the little crumblets that come over on the top. Yeah, all right, let's pop this puppy out. Look at that beautifulness. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's do this again. I'm gonna put a little bit in there, spread it out. All right, I need a little bit more. Spread it out. And get our piece of cheese in there. All our bacon and pepperoni. A lot of love right there. I didn't show you earlier. Look at look at the love in there with the bacon and the cheese and the pepperoni. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, so then we take some of this and we create a top. Get it all flattened out and then put it in there. All right. Look at that love. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so greasy. Oh, press it. Press it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Press it. All right. So we got that one. Pop her out. I'm going to put these back in the fridge for a while to set up because uh, it's hot right now and, and the prepping and everything. Uh, yeah. It's hot. All right. Yeah, pretty sure this only makes three burgers. Alright, 
get that one pressed in there. Alright, and our cheese. And then our bacon in there. Oh, I got some meat there. We got right there. Add our pepperoni and our bacon. Alright. Oh, this is so much love. And I still have uh, pretty much uh, six eyes and three tails and 12 legs interested in the situation. Uh, but yeah, let's get this top on. You know, like I said, only a pound in this situation pretty makes one third burgers plus the bacon and cheese. So you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. It was like it was meant to be for three. Yeah. We've used it up. All right. Press it. Oh. Yeah. Fold over that stuff. Yeah. Pop her out. Unpeel it. Like I said, I'm going to let these sit up a little bit longer. Uh, in the refrigerator and get cold again because it's been sitting out. And, uh, but yeah, that that's pretty much it, people. I think you all know how to fry burgers. You really want to get them uh, uh, nice and brown on each side. You don't want them burned. If you do them on the grill, be careful. If you do them in a fry pan, you, you definitely want some brown. Not like totally charred. Pay attention to them. About mm, six, seven minutes per side, depending on how hot your pan is. You know, but yeah, look at that loveliness bacon, pepperoni, and uh, Cooper Sharp stuffed burgers, smoky burgers. Who does that? Pappy's Dirty Kitchen does, and you can do it at home too because I just showed you how to do it. Yeah, do it, people. I just did it, you do it. But yeah, do use leaner burger if you can, if you can afford it. It was on sale, buck ninety nine. I mean, why not? You know. But anyway, this has been another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah. Be nice to everybody. Peace, people.